Hello and greetings my fellow Long Darkins, and welcome to a how-to video, how to survive one day in Interloper. Because if you didn't know, Steam achievements, I was actually just recently checking this, somebody brought this to my attention. Only 3.6% of Steam players, and it's probably even less than that on consoles, I don't have that data on hand right now, but 3.6% of people are the only ones that survived one day in Interloper. And surprisingly also, I think maybe it's because a lot of people do story mode, they don't do survival at all. Only 50%, only 50% of Long Dark players have survived a single day in story mode and survival mode. It's uh, mind blowing a little bit. But today in this video, uh, gonna keep it simple, no flashy thumbnails. We're just gonna get the job done. I'm gonna show you how to survive one day in Interloper. Uh, there, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips as well. If you want to cheese it, you can as well. But if you're looking to get 100% of achievements, but you don't have quite the confidence or the skills to do that yet, I'll show you easy peasy how to get it done. All right, let's go and pop into survival mode. A uh, new game, of course. Yeah, we've got Pilgrim, Voyager, Stalker, Interloper. And reminder, all the Steam achievements and everything else, uh, also on consoles, if you use a custom run, you can't get any of the achievements. So just something to bear in mind if you're going for like 500 days. But use a custom run. Not going to work for you. Alright, we're going to pop into Interloper. Alright, we're going to go with our bud, Will McKenzie here. And alright, I'm going to do something. Uh, I'll give you some tips on which ones you should pick uh, for your Interloper run. But for this one, I'm going to do it like we're a brand new player. I'm not going to use any feats. Now, Darkwalker was from the Darkwalker Challenge. You don't really, unless you're doing like a custom challenge, a special endless night custom run, you don't ever really need that. It's just for funsies. Straight to the heart, not really necessary. Snare is 100% more effective. They're pretty effective anyway, so, ah, toss that one. Snowwalker, I do swear by this one. It's one of my two picks for Interloper. Uh, traveled 1,000 kilometers in the game, and then you're not going to have this right away. It's going to take you a while. Uh, but yeah, your stamina bar recharges 20% faster because if you're in a hurry, you're in a tight spot That will save your life about every time uh, Free runner not really fire master if you're kind of doing like a stalker run It's kind of nice, but generally you can get up to fire level starting three pretty quickly That fisher machine. Nah, I don't really know me. I don't really worry about calories cold fusion now This is also the second one. I do recommend uh, for interloper because you're gonna be very cold even when you get inside a lot of buildings You're still gonna be freezing getting this on Will keep you warm in most buildings right away. It's a definite lifesaver if you can if you got it uh, Definitely nice Also book smarts as well I really think that's kind of more a stalker for a fun run and this one I still have yet to get because I think I've still got a little bit of time I'm not really in a hurry because I'd never use it but yeah, your speed reduction walking into the wind is reduced by 25, but all right. Yeah, we don't need any perks. We are fine. We'll just go to how to survive. Okay, and now one thing to know about interloper maps. Uh, you can also check, there's a lot of uh, maps on the Steam forums, and you can just Google it as well if you don't know the directions. But generally, I like to say, just use common sense. If you see a power line, follow that. Roads, follow that, you know. Uh, train tracks. You're gonna find something. Just try to think what you would do in real life. Well, let's see how we're starting. And you're usually, we're probably, it's gonna be probably near nighttime as well. So it's gonna be a, a little bumpy. I do hear running water already. I think, I wanna say we're in Desolation Point. I could be wrong. Oh no, this is actually a pretty well easy one. If you do get this spawn, pretty easy peasy. We're actually on Little Big Island, I do believe. We're, we're rather relatively close to that. Okay, and usually on Interloper you spawn near nighttime, so you're gonna get to get ahead. And negative 16, we're in jeans. Yeah, as you can see our meters warp, rested, uh, our thirst, and our hunger. To survive a day in Interloper, don't even don't even worry about that hunger. You don't have to feed this guy the entire day if you want to. Really. Interloper, I usually eat about once a day, and we're all gravy. But we're gonna head right over to the Riken to get warmed up. Alright, so what's at the clock? Doing one day. 
Did anyone look around? There's a lighthouse right there as well. I do have some advanced knowledge though that generally there are uh, wolves kind of patrolling the front of that area. But I can teach you a little trick. This is actually quite easy. And generally on Interloop I do say light sprinting is okay. A little bit of light sprinting is alright. Uh, you just always want to save a little bit in that stamina bar on the bottom right. Just in an emergency. If you've got to run. But also a big thing about wolves. I know I'm dropping a lot of knowledge bombs on you. But don't, don't run. Generally, you want to keep ahead of them. But don't just keep running. Because if you keep running, it will keep going. But we're just going to... This is a little bit of a shortcut. Not many players would know about this. Uh, yeah, you can shimmy up here. You don't have to go all the way around the front. Because the front of this lighthouse is kind of dangerous. Yeah, normally you wouldn't be able to figure this out. But I got about at least 5,000 hours in the game. Seven years of covering it, so... I feel quite well. Alright. Alright, so far, not freezing. This is actually generally a very forgiving... Uh, fingers feel the numb. interloper runs you do want to watch out for, though they can be beneficial if you do know the maps. Hush River Valley can be a little tough. Ash Canyon could be. Timberwolf Mountain. Places like that to just take a little... They don't have as many open spots if you don't know the map. Uh, can be a little daunting. And one thing also to remember in here, uh, you don't have any matches. Cause let's go... Now that we're... Unfortunately, we're still freezing because I don't. If we had cold fusion... I would probably be warm enough. But here, yeah, this is all everything we start with. We get a can for water, of course. Over the course of an interloper day, you're going to use about 1.24 liters of water, basically about. Uh, yeah, so you're going to have to maybe get water at least once. Uh, even if you just can't, if you go tab away. Although, uh, generally, you have to keep the game on the screen, though. But if you just leave it here, come back in about an hour or so. You'll have your achievement. Job done. Uh, but we're going to keep going. Actually got some drawers here. I do know this place in the dark. Come in handy. That's 40% closed. That's generally an interloper. That's pretty crap, but we'll take it. Okay, let's go get on. We're still not going to be warm enough. Uh, let's try to grab a little bit. I could use this. That, actually, those tablets. I don't generally use them, but you can treat non-potable water. Uh, one liter for every uh, pill. Generally, I don't ever use it. Okay, and we do follow the window. Kind of just, you can press yourself against the sides, and then you'll be able to go up the stairs here. Generally pretty, okay, well... Okay, we're going. There we go. It's a little, a little rough because there's a bed up here. If no left behind, yeah, just a little bit of lore from Kickstarter backers. There's a bed right here. We could probably just sleep till morning, and you could really just pass the entire day away if you wanted to. Uh, I can find the bed. I know it's around here. This is generally going to be a lot of your first time in the long dark. If you knew this, because the shelf is the bed's right. There we go. And generally, I'm going to probably. Yeah, we'll be able to warm up. Eh, let's get. Probably going to want to pass a lot of time. Because we're just going to survive a day. We really don't need to focus. But really. You're not going to get a lot done the first night if you this is your kind of your situation. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Cabin fever will sit in in about... That's, if you spend too much time inside, uh, you'll start to get cabin fever about every seven days. They do a roll for that. Uh, so generally, you try to spend more time outside. It's a little rougher the first uh, month or so, though. So let's... No, we're burning a lot of calories, too, but... Uh, yeah, so let's pass about three hours. And that's using more calories, but it's passing time along because we're not, we're too tired to sleep. Or we're not tired enough to sleep for another two hours. Uh, 
And that's a bit unfortunate now because now we're about to start taking damage. And it's about 2% an hour uh, when we don't have any water. So that's that's a little worrying, right? We're not to fear. We're going to get some matches, but I've also got to spend... Uh, we're going to have to take a little bit of damage. There's just no way around it. There might even be batches in here, but I can't see anything. Oh, uh, so... It's gonna be a bit unfortunate. Yeah, so about eight hours. You're about... Yeah, a third of the way there. Basically, we're gonna have to take a little bit more damage. And let's look at our health bar real quick. You see, that's not too bad. That's a little bit. Uh, though, do be aware... When you get about, I would say, 60 to 50%, uh, there starts with being a cure a downward spiral of healing. It will take a lot more effort once you get under 50% to get all the way back up. Uh, so try to at least generally try to, like, maybe lose, like, 20, 25% of health a day is okay. But then, then you can heal up. Just eat once during the night. Heal up. You'll be okay. Uh, but generally, yeah, don't try to feed the meters all the time in this. Don't always eat all the time. Uh, you will run out of food very quickly. You might make it a couple more days, but yeah, you can make it a lot more if you just kind of ration, balance it out if you're in a real survival situation. So let's get, we need to just get some light because this is what, that's what's really killing us is the darkness. Yeah, we're losing a lot of calories for this. I could fumble around in the dark trying to find something around here, but I'd rather be able to show you off in the light here. Okay, so let's, we've lost a lot of calories. But that's alright. Don't have to worry about that. Okay, there we go. And we actually had soda right Excellent. there. In this situation, uh, yeah, it is calories, but it is a little bit of hydration until we can get some water. Tomato soup. Now, these cans are nice. You don't want to eat them right away until you actually get a can opener, though, or a cooking level three. Then you will no longer need a can opener. He opens it by some kind of magic. Uh, but keep these. Definitely keep that. Though, it also be a little Larry 29%. Probably not going to get food poisoning, but just something to be aware of. Hope nobody needs this. Emergency stem. Only use those, as I say, severe emergency. Don't. We got a book about cooking. And you do want to read those because you do want to push an interloper if you're going for a long run, which we might discuss in another video. Push for cooking five as fast as you can because then you can eat anything, even if it's ruined. I uh, don't have to worry about intestinal parasites. Life is generally pretty laid back then. I don't think I got every drawer because, yeah, it's a little dark. Nothing though. Chips as well. Okay. See what we can get here. We're still freezing right now. Firewood as well. Can we already grab that? Now, lighthouse. Uh, it's disgusting base wise. One base out of lighthouse. On this map, the Riken on say coastal highway, Jackrabbit Island, Mystery Lake. I do like Trapper's Homestead, but Camp Office isn't bad either. Oh, uh, the dam, I, that's a little too risky sometimes. It's not bad either for that choice. Uh, Old Spence Farmstead for Forlorn Muskeg. Bleak Inlet, there's a nice little cottage right by the fishing hut out there in the Broken Lighthouse. That's kind of nice. Maintenance Yard is about the only good spot. Well, there's also the Mystery Lake Lodge, but Maintenance Yard for the most part. Oh, uh, let's see what other maps. It's a mountaineering hut, of course, for Timberwolf Mountain. Ash Canyon, there's a couple of Miner's Folly, Angler's Den. There's a lot of great spots out there. That's one of the newer maps. Okay, we grabbed all that. Unfortunately, no matches, though, though we do know where to get some. There's another area to this, so let's grab that. And also, one thing to be aware of, Interloper, about 80% of the time, everything, there's nothing in there. In all containers, etc. Nothing really in there. A book, we're going to use that for a good uh, fire-starting source. We got a fire today. We're gonna need water sooner or later. In handy. That's kind of junk, but it might get us just to what we need. Still negative one, but we're getting closer though. 
Uh, the building next to us, not too far from. Yeah, the Riken. The name eludes me for some reason right now. Yep. Let's get up top, though. So I think we can see it from right over here. Yeah, just straight ahead past the Riken. Probably our next stop. So we're about... See, not bad so far, right? We're about... Nine to ten hours in, really. Let's actually look. You can check. Eh, not too bad, not too bad. But nothing up top here. Usually in... Uh, stock or less, there'll be a bullet and there'll be some other stuff, but... Generally, loot-wise, you're not gonna have a lot in Interloper. Okay, but already we're about half frozen. But that's not too far from where we're going, so this will be all right. We're going to need a pry bar for that locker later. And also one thing I do want to put out that's really important you might want to take advantage of. I uh, know I don't enough. There are notes, so you can write down notes. Because uh, you're spending hundreds and hundreds of days in the game, you're going to forget where you put some stuff. So it's, it's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. So far, we're about halfway through the day, and it's pretty easy, right? Yeah, if you're going to get 100% of the achievements, uh, I know some people do like to get all the achievements. I, myself included as well. Uh, yeah, you're going to need to get that. Stone is always a good for a distraction at times, and sometimes you got to murder a bunny. Okay, so we're actually going to take it down, because there is a body over here. And generally, you can find a lot of bodies. Just look up crows. It's basically just treasure. I think I can use this. And we got a nice wool scarf. All right. Getting warmer and warmer. Looks like we got some wood down there as well. And you want to kind of just kneel and crouch, get down here. You don't want to sprain an ankle. There's a little bit less of a chance if you're going down like this. All right, firewood. And generally, it's about negative 23, so that's pretty cold. So we're not going to worry about... Right now, we're probably sitting about 90% condition. I'm not going to worry about food today. Let's just worry about food tonight. Oh, and that thing is also a good thing to point out. You want to get away? Uh, yeah, we got close to the edge of the ice. Happens a lot in Forlorn Muskeg as well, but you see that? You automatically want to turn around and go the other direction as fast as you can. And already, you can see we're already freezing. This is a little daunting. And the Riken's one of the better spots because there's not a lot of the wolves out here as well. We've generally got a deer out here. You can see we've got another body as well. We'll go out. And generally, it's going to take a while to get hypothermia. It is going to take a while. Just always keep an eye on that, especially when you're out in Timberwolf Mountain. It can happen. If that happens, you'll get frostbite, and that's 10% off condition off the top of your health permanently. You can never get that back. Uh, it's not a deal breaker, but... Also, you can stone bunnies for food. We're not going to do that. That's... We're going to be nice. Feathers for your eventually making arrows. But if you want to see that, just look on... Uh, how to forge video. I do have one of those as well. I need to find food. I don't think it's too outdated. Right, so let's get in the right in. They say he needs to find food. Don't listen to him. He's actually your worst enemy in this game. He will lie to you. He will deceive you. Just don't worry. You'll be all right. Feeding once a day. Unless you're, unless you're in those lower like 60% condition when you wake up. Then maybe keep calories throughout the day. Day, take it easy, heal up, uh, get back on your feet. Okay, we're gonna need more water. Maybe a good chance for. We'll either have matches in here, or the factory over there. It's gonna be a little dark in here as well. Empty, empty, empty. Yeah, this is a game that can be very, very dark on your monitors as well. 
So sometimes you, you can't increase the gamma. I feel like it's, that's a little cheaty, but I do brighten it up for the videos. Uh, just on the video itself, it's a lot darker for me. But it is realistic. Yeah, now we got almost two in the red. Get nothing else in there. There is usually some coal in here. No body. Take a little bit of coal, though. Not going to say no to that. And the frozen angle, another skill book to read, but yeah, that's nothing we're gonna mess with right now. Oh, we're gonna need some tinder plugs as well once I warm up. Ooh, pork and beans. Gonna, you save those, don't eat those right away though, just get a can opener first. Otherwise, you're gonna lose a percentage of your calories. I know we're gonna take a little bit of damage, but I am gonna actually sleep for about an hour just to warm up from the hypothermia risk. Okay, yeah, still barely warmed up on that one. Okay. It's a teeny bit warmer uh, next stop, though. Drink. Okay, and soon, yes. So we're about actually almost at two negative meters now, so it's getting a little daunting, right? A little stressful, Damn. but... Freezing. Generally, the first week is probably a little bit more stressful, but uh, trust me, it does get easier. You just need practice, practice, practice. Nothing there. Unfortunately. Alright, nothing up there. Let's head down. And generally, there's going to be a bear that comes around here. And sometimes a wolf on that left side as well. Okay, so generally, we're already getting in worry. You know, first day, right? A little worrying. You're probably down about 30%. This is easily fixable. Might be some food in there. The big thing is a bedroll. You don't want to get a bedroll as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, eventually we'll be able to craft a bearskin bedroll, but... All right. Throw that side of first aid kit. Now, this is a situation you're thinking, emergency stem. No, no, no. Bandage, though, nice. I didn't have time to make one yet. And generally, you want to carry around two, though. Generally, nowadays, I carry around four just for sprains and everything. All right, look around. I think we're semi-safe. And on that side. I'm going to hit this trailer real quick. Even though it might be warmer in there, but... Yeah, now we're about three out of four meters now, so. A bit more worrying. Oh, we're actually, ooh, we are warm enough in here. And you're thinking old bedroll, right? No. Uh, you do need a, uh, improvised knife or a knife to cut that up. Just for cloth. I look around. The crates for firewood, perhaps. Whetstone for our tools, which will sharpen our tools, which we don't have right now. But you can make those at the forge. Yeah, interloper, you don't get uh, hatchets and knives handed to you. Or guns. Cover box, though, I do need. Now we're taking a little bit more damage from the water. But we got to be able to start a fire. Okay. Been good thus far, but let's check our fire. We generally do have a good enough to start a good fire, but we've got to get a match first. And generally, there's at least one book of matches on every map, a lot of times more. I think in my current interloper run, about Never felt so almost a year life. in. I still got nearly like about 100 matches. We still have like 20% of the world to look at, so. Okay, hopefully we'll be. Ah, need a pry bar. Empty as well. Let's get inside.
All right, this is a big lootable area, so hopefully we'll be... Oh, we are not warm enough. All right, Thank Summit goodness. Soda, I'm going to take it. Okay, so we got to prioritize getting warm. Hopefully get some... Should be some matches, hopefully. In this area, there are... Got a bed we can warm up real quick with. Hey, dress shirts. And beef jerky. Point four. And you've got... Well, this would actually be a lot better if it was fixed up. But we really don't have. Time, we'll keep that and fix that up when we do have time. Oh, some shoes, though. Well, generally, you get these running shoes that are pretty... Not really that much better. Another fixer-upper. Another sewing book, though. So you can see no matches up here. Uh, generally, we want to, like, not freeze, though. So let's just... Yeah, I feel the hypothermia risk. Okay. Surrounded by snow. And nothing to drink. Again, tools. And generally, a hammer won't spawn here if you spawn. And ooh, we do have a flare. That will actually be enough to start a fire. And for this occasion... Usually, I don't use flares too much. Need to find some place to Unless I don't have cold. another light source early on. Uh, so, you know what? That's not a bad idea. And, dip, there you go. And you got about an 80% chance. That's not perfect, but we'll take it. Yeah, you don't have the fire starting. At one, but you'll get there eventually. It's not too bad. So we got an 80% chance. Have a lot of tinder plugs on hand. All right. And coal does warm up quite a bit. So we'll do that really quickly. Although I do want to get a bunch. I'd recommend getting at least... Yeah, maybe at least three or four liters your first day. And though if you're only going to have one can at the time, it is going to take a bit longer. Every can is about 0.5 liters. Okay. Oh, we are nice and warm now. Look at that. Got that water going. Also introduce you to my least favorite thing, but there might be loot in here, so it's worth it. Uh, yeah, let's go do this real quick. Usually an interloper doesn't really have anything too valuable. So nine. This is one of these jerk safes. Like 55, 54, 52, okay. And the third one I usually generally go kind of slow on. Yeah, just ignore him. He's he's a bit of a diva. Though generally the long dark is a lot more forgiving on the meters than a lot of other survival games. You're not having to feed him every five seconds. You could. He would try to trick you into it, but no, don't. Okay. I kind of want to keep using this flare for a bit. Use this. Oh, that is a good find. And gunpowder. We're barely just going to use that as accelerant on interloper. Okay. Now we actually got some decent... Oh, look at that. About double their warmth. Very nice. Okay, so now we got some decent clothes. We got water going. Remember, that's going to... Go in about 16 minutes. Okay, so we got a little time to do that. 
scrap metal you're going to need later for uh, making arrowheads and your tools. And if you do spend about the day there, there is probably like a 20% chance there's a fire striker in the backpack back there. Uh, but it's kind of iffy on that sometimes. And I can't think I can get that from there. Unless you take all this out, I think. We're gonna get it, Will. Don't worry, don't worry. And alright. See, there we're almost through the entire day and not a lot of work. I said we could have just thrown it in the uh, lighthouse back there, AFK it away, and useful. you would have got it. But this, you do want to play at least. I think you'll enjoy it. The more you play the survival mode, I think you will enjoy it. Baseball cap is about worthless, but I ain't looking good doing it. Got some more firewood as well. There's another spot up there we'll actually go check in a second. Oh, I got corn fused. Up, under, under, under. There you go. And then you might not know, there's a little pipe up here. Oh, Loot City. Yeah, a lot of the Long Dark, it just learning the map. Candy bar. Oh, goodness. There you go. Uh, you've almost, and a bedroll. That'll come in handy. Nice, very nice. Antibiotics, in case we get food poisoning infection. Got some dog food. Yeah, check around the little corners and stuff too. They have like to put a lot of stuff, so. Okay, I need to get some water. And this rare occasion, I might actually feed you since you're, you're getting a little low. You're getting a little wee low. I nah, don't worry about that. We don't have to worry about recycling anymore. All right, so now we got some water. And generally in this situation, would probably let's uh, I'll let you have those sardines get some more water going let's sit back upstairs because there's one more little area we can get in here and for your first day or th so three locations that's not bad. It's I wouldn't I wouldn't push yourself the first day. Uh, long dark is a, just a long race, really. Let's get all this while that's going. And as long as you're not cold, uh, you're not tired, you're not thirsty, you've got something in your stomach, you are going to be healing a little bit over time. Sewing kit, nice for fixing up the clothes. We're just going to need some cloth as well. But already out, this is shaping out to be pretty good run. I've had runs like this go on very, very long time. Longer than you'd want to be alive. And right there, right there, hey, matches. There you go. And we do want to grab a torch from that fire before it goes out as well. Uh, because you're going to miss a lot of fires between before 1 and to level 3 fire starting. You're going to miss a lot of fires. Sometimes a ludicrous amount, so... Having a torch means you're only going to use one match to light that. Right now. He's already... This guy. Alright, we'll go that as well. You're going to kind of balance out... How much you're going to have, because you need about 750 for a good night. Oh, we might have to sacrifice a can. A little reclaimed wood. And actually, never mind, because we do got already got 100% torch. And that should be the calories we need for tonight as well. Excellent. Let's let's head down, because I'm not 100% sure we got everything. But you always want to double check. Not take unnecessary risks, though. A lot of reclaimed wood in here, too. But just a reminder about the uh, cabin fever every seven days. Yeah, I just try to spend some time outside. 
You get a fire going every couple days. Sun uh, magnifying lens fire is the best fire, definitely. All I can think about Especially since food. it's basically free. Yeah, if we get a sunny day and it's not windy, take that. It's. I keep some wood stockpiled as well. All right, oh, I hear the water going. All right, we healed the frostbite risk because we don't have any gloves yet. That's the only thing that's going to be the frostbite risk now. Uh, but actually, I do have any cloth on us because I can actually take care of that. Hell. I really could. Well, let's see what the... That needs four cloths, so we're not going to get that here. But it's not... As long as you pay attention to it, it's not a huge deal. Keep getting some water. Okay, not bad. Let's go. Let's go through your inventory a little bit as well. A lot of things, yeah, we are going to need to fix. Sadly, there is no cloth here, though. But also, tinder plug wise, we still have two. Yeah, two is not bad once you get after getting cattails and the cattail heads. You really won't have to worry about tinder plugs again, so it's not too bad. I think we're going to spend just, you know, chilling out, getting water. Now, this doesn't count as cooking, unfortunately. Check the time. And we're almost through a full day here. I'm going to add a little bit more. We'll save the coal, though. Yeah, let's get a little bit more while we have it. horse I need to yeah just a little bit more I think I reclaim wood should be good All right, and also never forget your can as well I always always carry two I always carry two I don't care the pot or anything it's a little heavy for my taste and actually on a fire with two slots and two cans you can go way faster without it, so it's not bad. So we've looted everything. We're pretty solid. I always want to double check just in case, like the right there. So even if I have a couple hundred days, occasionally just kind of get on all fours, look around a little bit. You'd be surprised what you find. So not bad. Oh, so did I get that? I did get that. All right. Semi okay. All right, we're. And see now? Well, because well, that fire is actually pretty far stretching, kind of surprisingly. 15. I'm going to get away from that fire now. I'm just generally curious. And if I have time now, though, it's going to cost us a little bit of calories, but I'm not going to worry too bad. Generally, you're going to have a, usually a chance of cabin fever risk uh, one way or the other. Uh, the first seven days. So it's not the thing I would insanely worry about. Stalker, it doesn't set in until about 50 days. I think Voyager, it really isn't a thing. And I know on Pilgrim, it definitely isn't. All right, so we want to make sure we're at least a little bit tired so we can sleep a whole day. Remember, on Interloper, it's a little bit different as well. You can only sleep a maximum of 10 hours before you start taking hydration damage. Okay. But we're... Eh, the yawn, I think we're tired enough. So we got food. Remember, we need 750 calories, so... Eh, we'll take the candy bar. Two fifty. anything for a drink right now. I might just give him a little bit extra. We'll get the chips as well. That way we don't have to mess with any cans and risk losing anything. Also, we on account... You're going to need another, like, 0. 0.62 liters when you wake up because you're going to be completely dehydrated. But, all right. You generally, you need 750 calories 
for a full night's rest. Uh, yeah, we have a little bit over. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. You generally... I don't do too much night traveling. Generally a lot safer during the day. A lot warmer, too. But, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I think you have it there. Cause, yeah, I think this is about two days. Yeah, but it's, it's barely one day. It's kind of the so journal is always not life. right. But there you go. You have at least two achievements because you've survived one day in Interloper. And you've also survived a single day in survival mode. So I hope you keep it up. It's uh, We got, got a lot of tutorial and tip videos, etc. Also, any questions, you can do it in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, yeah, Long Dark, not as tough as you think. Pretty easy. Uh, once you get the hang of it, you memorize the maps. You learn the mechanics. Uh, we didn't see too many wolves out here. But generally, if a wolf is coming at you, uh, basically, you can walk away. And as long as you don't run directly into them, you're okay. Uh, but generally, just walk, sprint a little bit, walk. Don't keep sprinting, though, because eventually he will run into, like, a, just a complete run mode at you. But generally, I, I've, I've kind of just briskly jogged away from wolves an entire map before and never got caught. So, generally, pretty easy stuff. Right, ladies and gentlemen, hope it gets you your achievements. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.